Okay guys, welcome back to UKC Fishing. Haven't done a video for a while, been really busy with other stuff, but today we're gonna have a look at a follow on from the last video, which we did on the Gemini System uh, weight box. This one is the Gemini System 100 plus carry box with the mold. So it's the mold to make your own weight. So we'll have a little look inside. Okay guys, I'm just gonna pause the video a minute just to talk about a, a channel that I really like and enjoy. And I just wanna make a recommendation for it. Uh, that's Danny Shaw fishing. Now, Danny's a really nice guy. Uh, fish, fishes in the south and the southeast. Um, fishes with his daughter Amy, I think it is. Um, she sort of doubles up as a camera camera woman. Um, so he fishes all around, let's say, the south and southeast. Deal, Hive, Warmer, Southgate, Sandwich, Eastbourne, places like that. Um, he really does keep it real. He, he shows his videos of his blanks. Uh, doesn't claim to know everything about fishing. Just your standard fisherman like me or you, um, just shows it as it is. You know, you don't see every video of him in, in catching fish. Just um, like a lot of YouTubers upload only their catches, so they look like they're way better fishermen than they are. But Danny does really does keep it real, and I really enjoy watching his stuff. So, just a quick check out, just just check, check his videos out at Danny Shore Fishing. I think he's got six hundred and ten subscribers. He's got about eighty videos on there, so he just does like a video a blog of every time he goes fishing. So well worth checking out. Okay guys, we'll get back to the video. So you get all the instructions. Um, paper, I'll just put to one side for a minute and instructions on how to make up the molds, which we'll have a look at in a little while, or probably on the next video actually, because I'm gonna make up some weights using this mold kit. So we'll have a look at the instructions on the next video, but I'll just show you what's in the box for now. So it's got a full, components list or contents list what we get in the box so we'll have a quick run through that so you got uh, one mold one washer what sits inside the mold seven tail wires long three tail wires short two heads black um, one green head three blue heads two red heads and two yellow heads um, obviously the different color heads are for different size weights um, other accessories are one double D, one springy, one AS grip, one uptide insert long, three uh, uptide insert short, four plain nose cones, four extra black heads, I suppose they're just spare heads, one set of standard black grips, uh, one set of red, one set, uh, sorry, three sets of blue, one set of green, one set of yellow, one set of long um, grips, yeah, they're the yellows, uh, one long grips in black, four extra long black, three side wires. The instructions obviously for making the weights and tension and assembly. So a quick look inside the box. So you've got two separate trays. Try and put that one up there. So you've got different compartments in the trays, more paperwork. So you've got obviously the wires to make up on the grip ends and you've got some tubing that goes over the grips, which we'll show you again on the next video. It should be done this week sometime. You know, you've got different, different lengths of grips. Uh, nose cones, so it's all pretty standard just to make a standard Gemini weights, different sizes. Uh, the weight itself in the mold is adjustable by winding that screw out and changing this washer as they call it for different lengths and you can set that I'll find it with a bit of paper that comes with it with different lines marked for different weights so you just score that into the side of the mold at different intervals for different sizes just in case you lose a bit of paper you know where you are but there's a little chart there to go on it uh, you get a load of these, probably about 10 I think there is of these. These are the actual inserts for the weights. So they lead or form around that bit there, and then the nose cones go on the end there. And obviously you've got the hole at the end for your clip. Yeah, there's enough to weight, make 10 weights in this kit. This kit cost £32, I believe it was. So initially, yeah, it's a bit more money, but 
when you source a lot of old uh, lead like I've done I've got quite a bit now just locally just gone and collected it off people some charge a little bit of money but it's so cheap um, you'll end up saving a lot of money so it's well worth buying this um, good little kit so yeah the next video I'm going to show you will be making up the actual lead weights themselves so there's a bit more to that but that'll be the next one out and it, it'll be out probably midweek maybe Saturday at latest um, so yeah cheers guys see you on the next one